Hey guys, thanks so much for visiting uh, Carnivorous Plants Hub. I can't wait to bring you this update. Uh, but real quick, I just wanted to take a moment and ask that you support me and my channel by subscribing or giving this video a like. I have a dream one day to open a Carnivorous Plant Nursery uh, and we really would appreciate your support. Uh, just a like or a subscription to this channel really goes a long way in helping me and I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate it. Thanks a lot and let's go ahead and uh, check out this update. Okay guys, here's the Saracenia purpurea. Um, you can see it's a significantly different color now than it was when um, I first started it. I'll show you a picture of it real quick. So you can see it's a lot, um, a lot more red, and a lot of these have gotten kind of, looks like maybe burnt from the sun on the top. So I think I also kind of, I, I acclimated this one for about the same period as I did the Venus flytraps, and I think it was just a little early. Um, so I do think that these got a little fried. Um, there's some that aren't fried, like these ones down here are, um, they're red, but they're not, they're not brown at the top. So they're actually pretty healthy, um, and they've been growing well, but. The thing that I'm happy about is kind of like with the fly traps is I do have the the new growth there. See, I got that guy that just popped up, and I got this one coming up in the middle. Um, there's another one down here. So it, it is getting some new growth. It looks like it's finally gotten acclimated, and it's also going to start really uh, really taking off here pretty soon. So um, for this guy, I do miss the top lightly. Um, I keep it wet, um, moist, but not drenched up here. And then for this one. Uh, my understanding is that they do much better with uh, some water in the tray. So I do keep water in this guy's tray. Um, and so far, even though I think a couple of these got a little burnt from the sun, um, which I'm a little bummed about, and I'll probably have to cut these back soon once they kind of die, um, but it does look like it's starting to get um, enough here to actually take off and create new pictures. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, so... Um, but yeah, that's the uh, update on the Saracenia. So um, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and I'll put them all up here real quick and then we'll take one kind of final look. All right, guys, uh, that's all of them. <clears throat> that's the update. So uh, I appreciate you stopping by and uh, checking this out. Uh, make sure and subscribe uh, so that you can keep getting these updates and see how these plants are doing um, over the next several months. I'm a little nervous for dormancy coming up, um, but I was hoping that you guys can maybe give some suggestions on that. Uh, I have all these kind of potted separately. I think this guy will keep separate. He's inside, so I, I think Dormancy will be fine for that one, but I think I might get the uh, the Saracenia and the um, Venus flytraps planted together in a bigger pot uh, before Dormancy happens. I'm just a little worried because of the them just kind of getting over the shock of being replanted. So I'm hoping that by the time Dormancy starts to hit, I'll have the, they'll be a lot more healthy. Um, and I'll have the ability to plant them together. But uh, what do you guys think? Drop a comment. Um, give me some advice on how you think I should handle dormancy this winter with, with these guys. Keep them separate like this, um, which I don't think is that great of an idea. Or should I give them all uh, together in a, in a bigger planter? Um, but yeah, I uh, appreciate your subscription. Um, if you like the video, that's something I also really appreciate. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some uh, consistent updates on these guys and um, sort of show you what dormancy looks like and then walk you through that with these different plants. Thanks a lot guys.